Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of February 1613, the Romanov dynasty began after Michael Romanov was elected Tsar of Russia by the Zemsky Sobor National Assembly. Michael was related to Fyodor I, the last Tsar of the Rurik dynasty, through his grandfather, who had also been an advisor to Ivan the Terrible. Following Fyodor's death and the election of Tsar Boris Godunov in 1598, the two-year-old Michael and his mother were forced into exile. By the time of Michael's election as Tsar in 1613, his mother had become a nun and was living with her teenage son at the Apatiev Monastery near Kostroma, around 300 kilometres northeast of Moscow. Godunov's reign was the first of a period known as the Time of Troubles, in which Russia faced numerous internal and external threats. Desperate to restore stability, the Zemsky Sobor, the National Assembly made up of the three feudal classes, considered handing the throne to members of both the Polish and then the Swedish royal families, before they eventually settled on Michael Romanov in an election on the 21st of February 1613. Michael himself hadn't been involved in the discussions and only accepted the position in March after a delegation visited him and his mother in the monastery where they were living. Although he became Tsar when he was only 16 years old, Michael oversaw a period of Russian expansion and renewed prosperity. Much of this was achieved after his father, Patriarch Filaret of Moscow, returned from imprisonment in Poland and assumed de facto control of the country. Michael himself died in 1645 and left the throne to his son Alexis, who, like his father, became Tsar when he was just 16 years old. Nevertheless, the Romanov dynasty continued for more than 250 years until the abdication of Nicholas II in 1917.